Here we have one of the hubby's brilliant ideas. A 50 inch flat screen TV, which is brilliant for us, but for the children it came with this. A lovely wobble. Now you hear all of the stories about flat screens falling off wall brackets and falling off of TV stands onto toddlers um, and killing them. So we needed to find something that would stop our TV from falling over after Spike started pulling himself up on the TV unit. Um, so we found the Stabilis Home Safety Kit for LCD and plasma screens. Now it goes right up to 60 inch TVs and it secures your flat panel TV to furniture or a glass stand to prevent it from being accidentally pushed or pulled over. As you can see from the picture, it's like a metal pole that goes in the back. Um, it goes into the holes where you can attach a bracket to put the TV to the wall. And then it attaches to the stand. And now it says that you can still rotate the TV um, on its axis. Uh, but it's not going to go forwards and it's not going to go backwards. So now we're going to try and fit it to the TV. Right, so in the box we've got the bracket that goes on the back of the TV that attaches onto the um, the holes where the, the wall bracket goes, the pole for securing it to the stand, the um, fixings for the stand and a fixing kit with all of the screws and nuts and bolts and whatnot. Um, the only thing that you need that's not supplied is a Phillips screwdriver. We've got the instructions which so far appear to be pretty good. It's all pictorial so just copy the pictures really. And we're just assembling the Stabilis and we found it really good is that each part is um, has a sticker on it with a double letter so like the um, the main bracket is double A and the pole is double B and all of the fixings are lettered as well um, so you just follow the instructions saying that double A and double B go together with a screws. Okay so after actually having a proper look at the instructions you don't need a Phillips screwdriver because the Allen key is double ended and has one on the end so you don't need anything when you're putting this together apart from what comes in the box. Well, we've just discovered that we've got a dodgy glass stand and it's got wood on the back. So instead of fixing it onto the back of the glass stand with one of those brackets like that, so that it hooks underneath and is secured like that, we've had to screw it into the back of the wood, which is what the same way that you would do it for um, like wooden units and things like that. You can also screw this to the wall, so if your unit is up against the wall instead of in a corner like ours, then um, you can secure it to the wall and it's not going to go anywhere. There's um, quite a few screws to choose from for actually screwing the bracket to the back of the TV. Obviously different TVs have different size holes, so it's just finding the one that best suits. As you can see, it's now nicely fitted to our TV and our stand. It's screwed in nice and securely on the stand, nice and securely on the TV. And if you remember the wobble from the beginning of the video, we've still got a bit of wobble, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was. You can feel that it's not going to go anywhere. I've now got no worries about this little man pulling himself up on the TV unit. Still going to move him away because still I don't want him near my 15 inch TV but it means I can leave the room and not worry about him knocking it off. 